first story is aligned to our first ambition. It's truly reinventing productivity and business processes for a customer. It's not about selling Office or Office 365. It's not about selling CRM online. It's about deeply understanding the need to connect a sales productivity scenario to the real needs that this company has to collaborate from the shop floor worker all the way through to the people that actually touch their customers. And I think you'll agree at the end of the day that this partner has done a fantastic job of reinventing productivity and business processes inside of this customer. So our customer scenario is, is a customer called Kenna Metal, and we're going to introduce them to you in just a moment. And the partner is eLogic, and we're blessed to have Steve Hanna, the Chief Information Officer of Kenna Metal, along with, from eLogic, Mike Shields, the Chief Executive Officer, and Stephen Crandall, who's the Solution Delivery Manager that made this solution come to life. So let's welcome them to the stage. Steve, how you doing, man? Thanks, All right, just a quick check here, Steve. You are a real live CIO, in fact, and you don't work for Microsoft, and this is not a Contoso demo, right? Only 43 years. <laughs> Only 43 years, man. Great. So, Steve, why don't you get us started by telling us a little bit about Kenna Metal? Absolutely. Kenna Metal is a leading supplier of metal cutting tools, earth removal tools, and industrial materials. We've got 13,000 really engaged employees that operate in 60 countries across the globe. We provide a, a variety of equipment and tools to everybody almost across in every industry you can think of. Aerospace, automotive, we even make cereal for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> but our key differentiators around our customs engineering solution, and that's where we use knowledge-based collaboration to work both with our customers and across the entire enterprise to provide the best solutions. Of course, quite truthfully, we're a productivity and a value company, and that's what we provide our customers, much like Microsoft does. And then finally, I would say that, you know, we're very proud to be partnered with Microsoft and eLogic because they're the ones that have facilitated that knowledge-based collaboration. It's been a terrific journey so far. That's awesome, Steve. I really appreciate those comments. So, Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the solution that you built for Kenna Metal? Sure, Judson. Glad to do that. This is where we love to be, in front of a customer that's pushing the boundaries of what's been out there today. And I can say... To all of you, Steve Hanna is a visionary CIO. He lives in the world of manufacturing 4.0 and the age of the customer, and that means customer engagement, systems of intelligence, and bringing it together for the entire organization, as you said, and that's what we have here. So we started with 4,000 seats of Office 365, deeply embedded, ended up with adding 1,600 seats of SharePoint, I'm sorry, COMOL. We're using OneDrive, SharePoint, Skype, Yammer, all pulled together, and finally, in the Azure cloud, we're exposing services to bring Kenna Metal's SAP solution worldwide to life there, and we're also connecting some of the best guided selling and product selection tools in this industry that Kenna Metal themselves have built. Awesome. It's a completely seamless solution. Fantastic, yeah. So. I actually promised these guys they would see something and not just listen to us talk. So Steve, why don't you go show man. us what, what, what's been built let's, here. Let's rock and roll. So the very first thing that uh, you'll see on the screen is, is my Power BI dashboard. And there was a great announcement about that um, being available on the 21st. Start over here with 930 leads. Now, I'm an early morning guy. I get up at 5 o'clock. I come in. Right. I see those 900. Yeah, Mike knows that. <laughs> that 930 leads and that conversion rate of 4.8. And I'm thinking, that's not so hot. So I'm going to go. That, uh, that would cut it here at Microsoft. No, work, work exactly. I know. You'd fire rate. me in the first week. <laughs> so the, so <laughs> yeah, that 4 billion revenue. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> So I'm going to look at the pipeline, and I'm going to drill down on this, and I'm going to go to accounts and see what opportunities I have in my accounts. And again, this is live stuff. So you can see, and I mentioned we're in all sorts of industries. We've got Boeing, we've got Dell. And then I see this one over Van Arsdale, $530,000. Looks interesting to me. So I'm going to go down and click on that and look more about that opportunity. Awesome. And when I look at that, I see that, that Judson was the contact. And, and, you know, I'm, I'm, what do I do with that? What do I so do Van, Van Ardstel, huh? So, so what exactly do I make at Van Ardstel? Hey, man, you, you are a large equipment manufacturer. And I know that's a stretch for most of you out there. Just like I'm going to be a sales guy, so that's a bigger stretch. Great. But that's, wh but that's where we're going. So 
I had gotten an email from you over the weekend, and in that email, you know, you wanted to talk about this opportunity, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go open up that email. Well, right there, I am. yeah, okay. Yeah. And here it is, and you, you sent something to me in Dropbox, so okay. you've got some information, which scares me a little bit. Yeah. But you also mentioned Skype, and quite truthfully, that's a big game changer for us with that Skype. And so we'll set up a call and talk about that. Awesome. You know, it's a good moment to take pause, though, because uh, in all sincerity, uh, a lot of times customers use consumer technologies like Dropbox or iCloud or, or even OneDrive uh, to share information. And, and Mike, what you've actually built into this solution for Kenamental uh, actually helps make that information secure once it's shared with them. Why, why don't you tell us Absolutely, a Judson, that? and we'll come back to this. You'll see it live in a moment, but in our industry, when you're in this collaborative environment for selling and you're sharing intellectual property from a customer, like your company in this case, and Kenametal's intellectual property, as you'll see it come together, it's really important to have the security and uh, safeguards around that information, and that's what we're gonna be doing here shortly, as you'll see. Awesome, cool. Yeah, and the one thing I would point out, too, is, is and again, safety and security is one of our key pillars and values for Canada Metal because, as Mike said, we have to protect intellectual property to keep our customers satisfied. Cool. In fact, Canada Metal is, is one of only 100 manufacturing companies across the globe that's obtained ISO 27001 certification. We're very, very proud of that because it says we're serious about security for our customers. Awesome. Cool. So why don't you show us what it's like to collaborate over this big wheel project? So, so absolutely. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this Dropbox, and you and I are going to have a Skype call, and for the sake of time, we won't get into that. But we look at this, and you want to talk about this drawing. So we're going to get into that drawing, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to take some notes in OneNote because we're big OneNote users at Kenamental. In fact, our CEO uses OneNote for his weekly staff meetings. We keep all our minutes in there and so on. And so and as you and I are discussing this engineering process and yeah. some of the specifics around this wheel, you tell me that there's a specific rotor right there that needs special machining attention. Cool. Now, why is that important? Well, because we're going to engage with our team, the engineering team, and we're going to tell them that. So awesome. as they're designing the solution, now in the old days, we would have spent up to nine days going back and forth, email calls, going through this drawing. But with Skype Online, you and I do this right there. We mark it up, and we give it to the engineering team. It takes it to hours versus nine cool. days. So you're leveraging inking right there in the solution, and that can actually get embedded in something you share back with the rest of your team. Absolutely. Cool. So I've already gone back. I'm going to go back to this and the opportunity. And I've already st started to share this with the team. And one of the things I want to do, again, is I want to make this secure internally. Now, you won't see this, but I want to make sure from the shop floor to the head of sales and engineering that this is secure documents. And if I go over here and create a SharePoint location, just click yes, that creates that SharePoint online, and that will take me and, and make sure that that's secure. Again, you won't see it yet, but we've secured it so nobody outside the project can have access to that. And it cool. looks something like that. And you so what we're seeing here, sorry to cut in there, Steve, but just want to make sure everyone's following. This is bringing together a collaborative site for dozens of people across the globe, different time zones and languages, to all participate in providing you as the customer with the best knowledge we can put forward. And, awesome. and that's where we're going to go from here now that this is set up. Okay, cool, great. So why don't you show us uh, the collaborative environment, Steve? So we've gone back there. And so now, I've already set up the team. They're all ready to go with this. The only other thing I want to do at this point is I want to send out a Yammer post. And again, we've been using Yammer for years, and it's, a, it's been well adopted by our company. And I'm going to type in here, can anybody help? And this is the worst part of the demo, because I can't type. <laughs> I took speed reading instead. <laughs> Awesome. And I post that. Now, that post will go out to everybody on the engineering team that's got that available. They'll see that. Yeah. And then also emails go out to specific members of the team that are listed on here. Yeah. So one of the things that is fairly transparent uh, here in what you build is all of the integration and the interface. And you are uh, an early adopter, or we're an early adopter of CRM Online, uh, you know, much like Microsoft using uh, CRM Online internally. I know that there's a lot of enhancements you want to roll out with this. You've been really instrumental in, in moving the needle forward on that. Mike, what, what kind of comes next in this CRM on, Online environment for you? 
Well, first of all, I, you know, when we had started this project, we had to overcome a, a bad experience that the chief marketing officer, John Jacko, had had with a different CRM solution. And some of the customization, as it was called, that we had to bring together was to make sure that Kenna Metal's sales processes and workflows could be brought alive. And this is, it may sound simple, but we're talking about four different business groups making different products across the globe, different time zones and languages involved, and, and yet a common product base of knowledge that has to be exposed there. Yeah. So what you can see, and you're about to see in a moment, um, what we were able to do to bring all of these together into uh, okay. actually bringing the best solution to you. Cool. Yeah, and if the, other, the other part that I would add is quite truthfully, you look at some of this capability and you say it's pretty basic, Steve, and, and my, my experience over 40 years trying some other CRM implementations as well is sales guys adopting CRM solutions has been tough over the years. So what we did is said, let's go with the basics, make sure they adopt that, but quite truthfully, the biggest enhancement was around using the Outlook integration, the Yammer integration, the Skype, the OneDrive, SharePoint, and that, those were all products our team was familiar with. So we were an early adopter of O365. They loved that. They loved the fact that leads come right into their uh, mailbox and you know, in their task list. Fabulous integration, key differentiator for Microsoft. Awesome. So, Stephen, you're you're going to play the part of a, a line engineer uh, at Kenamental, and this opportunity has been shared out to the community. Why don't you show how you actually interact with it using some uh, of the new services like Delve? That's right. So, you know, I would have received an email from Steve inviting me to work on this opportunity here, which really means he just wants me to build the proposal for him and save him some time. So, you know, if I Pull this up here just to give you an idea. You know, here's an pro example proposal. This would take, you know, a few weeks. It's very involved, a lot of collaboration with the team within Kenametal. Right. You know, this looks pretty nice, right? You'd yeah, like to receive this, sure. I'm sure. So, really, I'm going to show you here, you know, this could take months and months normally, but with the new features that we have, I'm going to take you through, you know, three specific things that we did. Cool, great. For Kenametal and show you how we get to this end product. So, the first one being, you know, I have to start working on this proposal here. So, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to start out in Delve. And what Delve really allows me to do is search all of the organizational documents around Kenna Metal. So typically, you'd have to shoot out emails and say, has anybody done something similar to this? Or you know, go around network drives. It could take hours, days, weeks just to get somebody, especially if they're not available. That's right. And now with Delve, I can easily find the information that I'm looking for. So working with the team here, I remember somebody mentioned that Chris worked on a proposal for Kubota, which is exactly like the big wheel project that you're yeah. looking for here. So I just click on Chris's profile here, and I see his proposal. And I'm going to be able to take this information, and I'm going to jumpstart my proposal. I'll be able to get this done really quick just awesome. by getting this information. Great. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm building out this proposal is head back into my opportunity here. And I'm going to say, you know, here's some additional information so I can build that out. I know when they need it from a shipping date perspective. The other thing I want to look at is, you know, did anybody come back to Steve with anything? Cool. And boom, there you go. It looks like Dave Carl, one of our shop floor engineers, actually saw that we were working on this opportunity and Steve was asking for help. And he came back and said, actually, I got an idea here that's going to save you some time and money. Awesome. And above and beyond that, not only just write those words, he created a 3D CAD drawing, which I can click on right within my opportunity here, and I can play this video from the Yammer feed. So I'll be able to That's view fantastic. this and share that out with anybody. That's really cool. So it's an embedded CAD drawing embedded in a Yammer post, integrated into the actual record level information within right. CRM. Right. So complete end-to-end -end integration. Look, there, there's a point that, that needs to be made and, and landed out here in that you know, we often are exposed to integrated systems in everyday life uh, because we're, we're what we would class as knowledge workers. We're used to seeing this kind of integration. But what's actually happened here inside of Kenametal is we've linked people who were shop floor workers who have never ever been a part of the sales process and the process uh, for how Kenametal actually talks to its customers. And we've provided that kind of knowledge and collaboration through that whole process and that whole customer journey so that we can actually deliver a better product or Kenametal can deliver a better product uh, for its customers. Absolutely. It's right. fantastic integration. Yes. And you know, just to make, sorry again, Stephen, but to make the point about the demographic shift, and th this is top of mind for guys like Stephen and myself, you know, it's the, these industries run on, on deep knowledge and getting the right solutions. And w what you just talked about, Judson, is our ability to make sure that that knowledge is preserved and always presented. Yeah. And it's been a challenge, but... 
Ken and Madeleine addressed it very nicely. Awesome. So, so you did basic research using Dell without, without troubling anybody, uh, sped up collaboration there. You've taken information from the shop floor, embedded into the CRM record. Now how do you push this proposal out? Right, so now what I want to do is head out, and you saw originally, we, you know, Steve shared the internal SharePoint site where we've been working internally to pull all this together. And now what I'm gonna do is create this external SharePoint site. So I don't wanna continue using Dropbox that you sent over, that's not secure. You know, as we work through this proposal, we're both developing IP, IP that I certainly don't wanna get out, and I'm sure you don't. Right. So through this external SharePoint site, we can continue to collaborate through the process, and it's all seamless right within Microsoft here. That's fantastic. So listen, um, Steve, then I think you could actually sort of take it from here and bring us home and show us what you would do after that uh, had been set up. Yeah, so the first thing I would do is I would go back to the opportunity and, and do a Skype call with you and I'd check in and say, how is this going, how do you feel about it? You'd tell me that it was terrific and I would go in and based on that, I would go change this from, what do you guys think, 75, 80%, 80% anybody? Oh, okay. 100%. 100%. I have a feeling we ended up yeah, yeah. a lot of things here. On well, I want to keep my job for another week. So we do the 100%. And again, to do the Skype call, I just click on your name in the contacts, and I pick a phone number, and I click on that, and it takes me to Skype, and you and I can have a conversation. Awesome. The Fantastic. important part is that this, this whole process has really, really reduced our cycle time to getting solutions back to our customers and letting them get their custom solutions going and producing their tools and their machines faster and getting the productivity faster and faster. That's right. So in, in this collaborative selling approach, again, between the customers interactively online with our engineers, with our shop floor people, provides the very best solution. And I'm going to go back to the knowledge base because it's such a critical point. We have all the information we need in that contact information for everybody, not just for that contact today but for any solution at any point of time that looks similarly to that. So we're really, really jazzed about that. Steve, that's awesome. And, and look, you've already done a, just a fantastic job of reinventing this business process inside of your company. But what, what do you see as next? Where, where are you going to go from here? Yeah, so there's a, there's a number of areas that we're really anticipating. Again, we think Power BI is going to be a great tool for us. We're working very closely with Microsoft and eLogic to really deliver that. We're very, very excited about that. And then on a personal note, quite truthfully, I'm really jazzed, I mean really jazzed about Windows 10 and how Cortana can be a great assistant to our sales guys. We spend tons of time in cars, and it would be great to have Cortana telling us what's going on in the world, what opportunities are available. So we think the integration is something only Microsoft can do, and we're really excited awesome. about that. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, so you can clap for that. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So it... It also sounds like, Mike, you got your next list of homework of what Steve wants to see. So we'll let you get going on that here pretty soon. But before you do, um, maybe you just share with the audience of what an innovative project like this has, has meant for your business at eLogic. Yeah, it's what we love to do, Judson. I mean, this lets us put forth our best capabilities. It lets us bring forth your best capabilities together in this kind of solutioning. What have we really done? I mean, when you look at it, we're taking solutions that eLogic did 10, 12, 15 years ago with a lot of heavy lifting and wasted time on unnecessary, like no value add integration points. And instead we're starting with a seamlessly integrated platform like we just showed you. And we're adding value on top of that where the customer needs it. Couldn't be more pleased. It's been great. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Again, these guys are not actors or Microsoft product professionals. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Mike. Thanks again, Stephen. Awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you agree, it's a fantastic story and, and nothing actually makes me more proud to, to see a customer up here with their partner talking about the work that they've done together. Um, and that's, it's truly a great, great uh, representation of bringing productivity and business processes to life. Um, one moment though of, of seriousness around a call to action that I want all of you to take from that example. And that is that what you saw up there is that eLogic actually created fans inside of Kenamental. Kenamental employees love using the applications that they use to get their work done. And that doesn't happen without partners. It doesn't happen without partners bringing those solutions to life. And it doesn't happen without, without partners really bringing deployment and usage and consumption of these cloud services to, to life as well. It's not about just selling a set of services or selling a set of products and moving on. 
It's about driving true adoption and really bringing those solutions to life. So there's, there's some action that I want you all to think about coming out of this. I, I need partners to lead. We, Microsoft, need partners to lead deployment usage and consumption. And there's some services that we're rolling out to support that, and I, I need you to embrace and extend them. The first thing I need you to do is embrace and extend all of the de deployment programs and processes that we have. We're looking to automate some of the basic setup of tenants uh, with the onboarding center, and what we want you guys to do is effectively embrace and extend those as a part of your delivery cycle out to your customers. The second thing I want to make sure that you do is leverage all of the adoption offers. Had great conversations with partners throughout this event, uh, and the number of them that said, gosh, there's all these incentives, but we don't really know how to take advantage of them, and, and uh, we need help there. Rest assured, there, there are rich adoption offers that you can leverage in bringing these types of solutions to life, and, and you should be working with your uh, partner resources at Microsoft here to make that happen. And the last thing that you should do is be embracing the fast track quick leads process. We're gonna be building leads for partners coming out of our solution sales efforts that give you the opportunity to engage with customers in these very same scenarios. So I want to move on to our next uh, bold ambition and customer example. Sometimes when we talk about reinventing business processes, it's more than a front-end process. It's more than just selling Office 365 and CRM online. It's actually about deeper understanding of a customer's business process, understanding how they grow revenue, understanding how they save costs, understanding how they become more efficient, taking and mapping those processes to the cloud. And this is where our ambition of building the intelligent cloud platform comes to life. The key word that I want to make sure that you all land on this ambition is the word intelligence. Because a system is only as intelligent as the data over which it reasons. And this is what makes our cloud platform truly differentiated the security, the hybrid capabilities, but most importantly, the rich data assets that are brought to bear by the Microsoft Cloud for Business. This intelligent cloud platform that we will all build together as an ecosystem is truly differentiated in the marketplace because of that. Not just our heritage and roots and SQL, but also all of the third-party databases, NoSQL environments, big data, data lakes, machine learning, predictive analytics, all of those capabilities that we can bring to bear and bring awesome business value propositions to life.